Tio, please. Hey there, this is Tio bringing another Kerbal Space Program video. Today's video is going to be a little different. Post in basically a summary of a career, uh, career mode playthrough that I've done recently that I should be posting very soon. And um, I wanted to serve as a summary, but also as a, a challenge for anyone else who's interested in uh, playing the type of mode that I played. So the name of the challenge is Astrophobia. And for those that don't know, that's an irrational fear of space and the stars and you know, even aliens and things like that. So uh, I had this idea a while back to play an entire career mode without ever leaving the atmosphere with the Kerbals. I thought that would provide a very unique challenge and be a different fun way to play the game. And uh, having played halfway through the tech tree, I can tell you it, it obviously is fun, fun enough for me to post this video, but I uh, probably would do it in science mode next time as opposed to career mode for a few different reasons. So um, on the screen you can see I've uh, I'm shown a few clips from my series that I'll be posting and uh, it's basically the ascent of a reusable MUN lander. It's got the an orbital station around the MUN that I assembled in pieces and these uh, little expendable science modules. A lot of um, I guess fun uh, Easter eggs for things that you'll see in the career mode if you decide to watch all the videos. If you, if you like playthroughs, it's uh, it's they're, they're they're long by nature, so I thought maybe this video would be uh, enough to pique some people's interest. But anyway, the object of, uh, of of the footage in this video is to show you, I, you know, I set up relays, was able to go to a different celestial body outside of Kerbin, collect some uh, experiments, and uh, return them to the surface of Kerbin. Because for me, the, the fun part of the challenge is loading experiments into the mobile processing labs on the surface of Kerbin. So you can have scientists to, um, to, to process the experiments and get more and more science points, which is actually one of the main reasons um, I would not recommend career mode. Career mode off, you know, offers a lot of fun and unique challenges, but uh, it can make this type of playthrough more difficult than it needs to be. For instance, you... You don't have very many options for getting new Kerbals. As a matter of fact, you can only buy them because rescuing them would mean going into space, at least with, uh, you know, you, you weren't the one that put the Kerbal there, but the Kerbal's in space and that's against the rules. So, you know, it can get very expensive to get new uh, Kerbonauts. Also, some of the contracts um, are, are pretty useless. You can't do them. You can't, you know, leave the atmosphere. So that, that, um, that rules out lots and lots of contracts, lots of uh, easy money. Also, you um, anyway, if if you tried career mode, you'd you'd, you'd come across some difficulties like I did. And science mode's probably the way to go. So the premise of the of the uh, of the challenge, if you choose to do a playthrough like what I'm doing, is try to unlock the tech tree if you can without ever leaving the atmosphere with a Kerbal. Um, so I did it in the career mode, and this is probably where I'll stop um, at this stage of the tech tree. You see, there's a lot of different. Engines not in use, a lot of different tech not in use, but uh, I got pretty far into it, at least halfway. And um, I plan on redoing the whole thing in, in science mode, probably won't post that playthrough though. But I uh, hope you uh, are interested in, in this type of a playthrough. If you play Kerbal a lot in Kerbal Space Program and you kind of run out of ideas and you're looking for something new to do, this was uh, an awful lot of fun. Here you can see this is the main part of the, the fun for me. The, the probe is going to re-enter the atmosphere around Kerbin. I don't know how to do a, an approach from the MUN to pinpoint my landing. So there you see me circularizing around Kerbin. So I could try to come in right on top of KSC. And once, you, uh, once you've once you got the probe on the ground, it's a matter of retrieving it with some kind of vehicle, which is not usually um, something that's very useful in KSP, building airplanes and helicopters and, and jeeps and that sort of thing. But in this kind of playthrough, it's very helpful. So here you see my probe's going to land. I've got to come out and retrieve the science experiments that in, uh, in this footage I actually forgot to load into the probe core, but I'm going to go out and retrieve it anyway. There you see I've got my little plane, I'm going to take my pilot, fly out, collect the science, bring it back to my mobile processing lab, and this to me was uh, an awful lot of fun. I got to build the, the plane, came up with new ideas for mobile processing labs and where to put them, and maybe um, utilize some, like some land vehicles at some point, or some hel a helicopter would be really, really nice. Planes could be a little difficult to land and take off from in these uh, grass fields and whatnot. But that's the gist of the playthrough, and that's uh, the gist of the challenge. Um, if you want to 
reply to my YouTube channel with um, your challenge, your own challenge, if you're going to post a YouTube video or if you want to post on Reddit. I plan on advertising the challenge in a couple of different places, but it's all right if I don't get a, a whole lot of uh, traffic. I'd, I'd be interested to see if anyone does something like this. If they do, it might take a little bit of time because it took me you know, several in-game hours to get to this point to, to go and execute this whole mission just to unlock the tech tree as far as I did. But if you're interested, I hope you uh, try the challenge. Appreciate you tuning in. If you haven't already, hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you, and I'll see you again soon.